If you're ever dealing with multiple camera angles in DaVinci Resolve, you're going to want to watch this video. If you record with GoPros and you edit with DaVinci Resolve, you're going to want to watch this video. Welcome back to the channel, my friend. I am DaVinci Resolve. <laughs> oh, goodness. Welcome back to the channel, my friend. I'm John, and I've recently changed the method that I do multicam in DaVinci Resolve, so I wanna share with you advanced multicam. If you've been following the channel any length of time, you know that I already did a multicam video, but this one's got some new tips and tricks in it. So let's dive in. We're gonna do multicam uh, creation and editing, and I'm gonna show you all the pitfalls and how to work around them or prevent them. So let's get started. Here we are in a fairly blank project. This is for something later. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. First thing we need is some footage. So I'm gonna drag some in, but first I'm gonna create a folder here with master selected. I'm gonna right click, say new bin. We're gonna call it demo MC, that's good. And then I'm gonna drag my three folders on top of demo MC and it'll bring them in and create sub bins. If you drag your footage into here, it'll just mix everything together. Now, the first thing we wanna do is to create back in master, I guess it's the second thing, we wanna create a timeline. So we're gonna right click, timelines, create new timeline. And I'm gonna call this one multicam ride. Now, here's where you select the number of cameras you have. I have three, so I'm gonna click here and enter three. And then I'm gonna click on the next one and up. Oh, this one's still selected. It's a weird wonky thing with Resolve. But if I double click it and then type three, now we're good to go. So I'm gonna click Create and it creates me a timeline with three video and three audio tracks. So we need to rename them. And if you notice, I named them nine, 10, and 12. That's not in numerical order. Video one, audio one, these two tracks is where your audio and main video angles are going to be. So it's important that you name them because it will come in handy later. Now that they're all renamed, we can start dragging footage in. And if you notice, I've got a lot of ones here. That's the first clip in each recording, but then this one has a two. So I'm gonna show you what I do with that. First thing, click on the first one, hold shift, and run down to the bottom one, and boom, they're all selected. Drag them on, bingo. Now for this, we want our snapping tool turned on. If it's grayed out, it's off. If it's white, it's on. We're gonna click between two clips, hold shift, press right three times. One, two, three. If you don't see it, it's because you're not zoomed in far enough. Alt mouse wheel to zoom in. You can see I'm three seconds. Now I'm gonna press Alt Y and drag over. And if you wanna Alt mouse wheel zoom out, you can see that everything past the playhead is selected. That's what Alt Y does. So now I'm gonna zoom back in a little bit. This is now a three second gap. I'm gonna press down and then shift right three times, Alt Y, move over. Did I do that three seconds or four? One, two, three. Yeah, see, I did four, cause I'm talking to you. <laughs> Down, shift, one, two, three, there we go. And that's shift right three times, not shift one, two, three. Shift right, shift right, shift right, Alt Y. Same thing for the last clip. And then we're almost done. We need to click on our second file, that's 263. So we need to go find 263. It's gonna be right about there. Click on and put your playhead right here at the end. You click in this ruler area. See, it doesn't move here, but if I click here, it moves, right? So put our playhead at the end of the 263 clip. Click on 263 and we can press insert. And that does an insert where it moves everything past the playhead down further. Now, here's the first trick with this, right? I can lasso select these guys and right click, say new compound clip, I'll call it Hero 12, and it's 263. So now, because we're in Hero 12, we have a 263 compound clip, and the last three digits line up with everything else. You can do this for any kind of camera, it doesn't matter. This way, they stay together, they're butted up perfectly, and they're not overlapping. Something you really want to avoid when you're working with, well, basically anything in editing, in my opinion, but. <laughs> At least your basic stuff, right? So now Hero 12 is all set up, no big deal. So we're gonna zoom out, I can show you it's all set up. Now we need to go to Hero 10, that's our next camera. I'm gonna grab all the ones and drag them over onto our timeline. And now they're right here, you can drag them into any track, but the first or second one makes it easier. And I'm gonna do the same thing 
where all I do is separate each clip by three seconds. So now the gaps are gonna be the same as they were for the uh, Hero 12. Here's where things get a little tricky. I have a two and a three and a four that all say 470. So I'm gonna come over here to 470. So with them selected, I'm gonna click insert and it brings them in. Now they're all right here and I wanna select all four of them because there are four of them. Right click, new compound clip, Hero 10 and 470. Keeps everything lined up. What do we have left? We have a two and a three for 471 and then we'll be done. So I'm gonna click on the end of it. I'm gonna zoom in, don't be afraid to zoom. And I'm gonna grab my two and my three and I'm gonna say insert. And now we have three of those, right? So we're gonna select all three, right click, new compound clip, Hero 10, 471. Now we've got all of our footage for the Hero 10 lined up. See that? Pretty cool, right? So now I wanna zoom out enough to see everything and we're going to select all of these. We're gonna drag them up one track. We're gonna center mouse wheel, click to drag, and we're gonna bring them, and don't worry, it, you can do this all you want until you let go. And we we'll drag them right into place. Now they're all in here. Now we need to start syncing. Yeah. We are going to be syncing the manual way. You can honk a horn, clap your hands, use a clapboard, use a time code. There's lots of ways to sync. For my case, most of the time, the auto sync doesn't work. I'll show you that and then we'll do it the manual way anyway. So for a clip like this, I'll just click in blank space, zoom in, and then I'll select both files. Okay, you can see both of these files are selected. They're about the same length. You can right click, Auto align clips. Sync using time code or waveform. I'm gonna click waveform and click sync. And it's gonna analyze it and probably come back and say, I couldn't do it. Right, no match was found when attempting to align these clips. However, I have words that I speak right here. On fire. Yeah, so I'm gonna zoom in, alt mouse wheel, and I'm gonna make sure just my second track is selected and I'm gonna move it until the waveforms are lined up. And then I'm gonna play it back. That tree is just on fire right now. It is a beautiful thing. And I have my desktop audio muted, but you probably heard that and it sounds pretty good, right? It's lined up good enough. You can tinker with it one or two frames either way and fine tune the sync to your liking. Also, if you turn off snapping, it makes it easier because if you move things around, and then you want to move them back like you'll you'll see that see it it jumped from four to nine so i'm going to control z twice to undo that make sure snapping is selected and then i'm going to go sync the rest of these it's just like the first one here's another case where it's just slightly off so we'll uncheck snapping we'll come to our spot where we want to sync and we'll drag it frame by frame re-enable snapping so now our first two cameras are synced up we're going to sync up the third camera yes exciting times Again, we're gonna drag in and create our you know, secondary timeline here and move all the files around. And then we have to add in our twos and our threes. Now that we have all those squared away, we'll select all. We'll drag them up to our Hero 9 track and drag back, get them mostly lined up. And here's where you're gonna run into an issue. There's usually some subframe offness from one camera to another. They might be off by less than a frame and there might be a slight echo. So what we need to do is stick with our Hero audio, which in my case is the Hero 12, and line up just the nine with that. So let me show you how to do that. We're gonna come in, it's as simple as clicking the mute track button next to Hero 10. So now that one's muted. Alternatively, you could click on the Hero 10 and you could, you could select just these clips here and press the D key to disable them and you can actually disable the video track and mute the audio if you want. But we just need to mute the audio for that one track and then do our same manual sync. And you'll notice that the audio is really off on the nine, right? It, it, here we go. But I found a peak right there. It's a little more visible here. You can see that peak and here it is on the nine. But in my case, I also use the horn honk. So I'm gonna grab my Hero 9 clip and move it over. And you'll notice that it lined up perfectly with the end of another clip. So that's that snapping in action, right? And I tried to do this for a number of other clips, 
but I probably forgot. This one looks like it's already pretty close. We're gonna drag it a couple of frames like that. That's gonna be really close. And there at the end, you can see that we're lined up really well. So that'll work out pretty nicely. And here we have a big bulge in the sound. We're gonna uncheck snapping, go to one frame. That should be lined up. So they're really close. Now don't forget this next step. We need to unmute our track. So now everything's set up the way we need. We have all of our clips done. We'll go back to master and Multicam Ride still has a timeline icon next to it. So we're gonna right click and select convert timeline to multicam clip. And now it shows you timeline one. Shh, you're not supposed to see that yet. I wanna create a new timeline. So I'm gonna create a new timeline and there it is. And then we can drag in our multicam ride. It's right here. There it is. And it might take DaVinci Resolve a minute or so, depending on your storage speed and processor and all that, to build out the waveform. But that's important to wait for because it's, well, it's required by the next step. And now that it's done, you'll see that we start with a blank screen. That's because my Hero 12 doesn't start as soon as everything else. So we're just gonna trim off the front, press backspace to move it back. And then I've zoomed out far enough, but I can still see the gap. So we're gonna zoom in a little bit. And this is the first thing I do. I've dragged the multicam into my timeline. Now it's time to break it into those separate clips so that I can edit with it. And this three second gap shows as a blank line. So control B to break. Control B to break, and then delete to get rid of. And in some cases you might have a bunch of short clips, so they're all visible on screen at once, but in my case they're not. So I'll find the next one, it's right here, and we'll delete that. Here we go. So I've got the last of them all on the same screen. So boom, boom, control break, control B. Yeah, good times. And then we will control and click to select multiple and delete. Now we're ready to edit with this thing. So let's do that. Let's do some editing. So here I am riding along and well, how do you use the multicam? Well, you can right click and you can switch multicam clip angle and this will change it for both the video and audio. Or you can hold alt and click on either video or audio to select just that portion of your clip and right click and switch camera angle in which case you see this says Hero 10 and that says Hero 12. Well, let's control Z to undo that because that is not efficient. You don't wanna be doing it that way. <laughs> so what you're gonna to wanna to do is uncheck Inspector and then three will show up, yay. And this is our source icon. We're gonna drop down, select Multicam and you wanna make sure that the correct icon here is selected. Video only, video and audio or audio only. That determines what is cut when you change a camera angle. So there's two basic ways to change camera angles. Let's show them, let's take a look. So now I've selected video only, that's the only one I wanna cut. And we can press the space bar to play and we can select different camera angles willy nilly. And if I alt mouse wheel zoom in, you can see all these cuts. I wanna go back and forth and back and forth. That's all well and good. You know, I like a good keyboard shortcut. So you can use the number keys on your keyboard to do the same thing while you're playing. So you're not moving around the mouse and losing your focus of what you're trying to look at. Because right now you're trying to look at both the source that has all the uh, different camera angles on it and the final output. So I'm gonna rest my hand with the fingers over the keyboard and I'm going to press space to play and then one, two, three. And you'll notice over here that it changes. One, two, three. Pretty cool, right? Now it will disconnect the audio and video because they're usually linked, but it will disconnect the audio from the video wherever that first clip is. So everything after that, you're just changing the video clip anyway. You can change it however you like, play around with it. It's This is one of those things that you just kind of have to get used to doing and it becomes a lot faster with a little bit of repetition. Now I did say there was something earlier I wanted to show you, so I'm going to go into my footage folder and open up this timeline. And I'm gonna right click, open in timeline. And in this clip, I have a different multicam clip that I have edited and I accidentally deleted the audio from it. And I can't get my audio back. How do I do that, John? I'm gonna alt mouse wheel to zoom in to show you. We have audio here, we have audio there. 
what we need to do is press F. That brings up the uh, footage in the source, and then we can drag it down and we get it again. Isn't that cool? So if I hold Alt and click on our video, get rid of it, and then I play it back. On boot the like button, and you'll get some information here in a second. And then neat? I got it back that quick. Now sometimes I have to press Alt F to find in in the uh, media pool, and then press F again. But either way, it's a lot faster than redoing the whole edit, right? Right. So that, my friend, is multicam. Pretty easy once you get down to it. It's just a lot of little steps to get it all set up, and then you can go off to the races and edit with it. Pretty cool, right? Did you enjoy this video? Boop the like button if you enjoyed this video, if you got anything out of it. I do appreciate you watching, and I'm gonna leave you something else that YouTube picked for you to watch. It's one of my videos, you'll love it. Hit the subscribe button and all that stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.